bones and all. Um, what a strange movie this was. Uh, this was really good. Bones and All stars Taylor Russell and Timothy Chalamet as two cannibals who end up striking up a romance together while kind of going off on a road trip. And there's an Army Hammer joke somewhere in there, but I just, I can't really figure it out. And no, I will not stop with the Army Hammer jokes. That shit is too good and it writes itself. So horror and romance isn't something that exactly comes together quite often, just like the words me and money, but this totally worked for me. There are elements of both in here that really did its job, whether it was freaking me the fuck out or making me feel all the chemistry and romance in the air. And that's partly why I call this movie strange because it's weird how there are scenes filled with so much blood and gore and yet it's still strangely romantic. Like, like how did Luca Guadagnino do that? A lot of it is just vibes, and honestly, it is quite lovely. <laughs> They're traveling throughout the movie, so there are so many shots of the outdoors and nature and just with sunsets and mountains, and you add that to just an awesome Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross score. Oh yeah, I mean, you know, sign me up. And to me, it's able to juggle these polar opposites very well. I mean, obviously with the scenes of great romance, obviously there are some scenes of just horrific violence and not once was it ever like, wow, how, how jarring this was. Wow, this really sucked how much it turned. Nah. And a lot of the credit goes to Taylor Russell and Timothy Chalamet, who are just two of our best young actors working. Taylor Russell is the heart of the movie and she's fantastic. I've been a fan of her since I saw her in, wait for it, Escape Room. Yes, I ride for those movies. They are good. I don't want to hear any slander. Please stop. But she has really become one of our best, as I said. And you're able to sense that she's really struggling with something internal without her just straight up saying it. And obviously, Timothy Chalamet continues to just have one of the most interesting and impressive resumes for someone his age. And he's great again. And both of them just make me feel like shit. I'm 24 years old, man. What am I doing with my life? And quickly, Mark Rylance, who I thought was just going to have like a lovely career post Oscar win doing things like The Trial of the Chicago 7. But I guess instead he just wants to play weirdos and sickos. And that's cool with me. I love him and he is so creepy in this movie. It's great. Now obviously as uh, you know, one would expect from a uh, cannibal movie, this movie certainly won't be for everyone. It is about cannibals and lord have mercy do they not shy away from that. It is very gory and some people will just be like nope from the opening scene. And I truly pray for those people who don't know what this movie is and just go into it on Thanksgiving week because they are going to be in for some shit now. And that's okay if not everyone enjoys it. You know, I can't say I enjoy watching people get eaten. Can't say that's a favorite pastime of mine. But for what it's worth, I think the gore is manageable. But, you know, enter at your own discretion. Other than that, I guess there are some times that I found a little meandering, especially in the middle of the film. And, you know, because of that, I guess it can feel like it's kind of dragging, which I got a little bit. But for me, honestly, maybe it's because I'm a sicko as well. But I just really enjoyed it. It's just a wonderfully strange movie that I'm happy exists. Bones and all. Four stars. I do think it's hilarious trying to imagine the Academy watching this and all the older folks seeing people get eaten and it's just like, yeah, no thanks, I'm good on that one. <laughs>